Hello, hello, my friends. I have another dedicated candle review for you today. We're going to be talking about Bath & Body Works Cookie Butter Truffle. This is one of their standard three wig, 14 ounce vessels. As of the time that I am filming this video, it is actually currently on sale for $13.95 at Bath & Body Works. You guys know I always say this, and I think most of you watching this always know that Bath & Body Works seems to run sales on these candles pretty much every weekend, whether that would be a $12.95, a $13.95, a buy one, get one free. Um, don't ever buy them even at the $16.95 price point, you guys, because they will eventually go lower. Um, but being that this is being marketed as a new fragrance for the first holiday launch, I thought that I would uh, share my thoughts with you in case you are thinking about purchasing this candle. So the fragrance notes or the accords listed on this candle are cookie butter, whipped cream, and vanilla extract. What does my nose detect? To my nose, this candle on cold sniff is definitely more reminiscent of cookie dough, uh, not a sugar cookie dough. It's definitely more like when I make chocolate chip cookies, which personally I use the old fashioned Nestle Toll House recipe. It smells like the cookie dough without the chocolate chips in it. I don't know if that makes sense, um, but I think those of you who make cookies enough, you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's definitely not a sugar cookie dough. It's not a peanut butter cookie. It's not even like an oatmeal raisin. It's definitely just kind of like the base of a chocolate chip cookie. That's what I smell. Um, I don't really get any whipped cream in here, nor, um, I mean, vanilla extract is an ingredient that I put in my cookies. Um, but to me, when I was reading the uh, fragrance description online that Bath & Body Works is using for their marketing, they were saying that this smells like freshly baked cookies, and I disagree with that. Um, there's not necessarily really the warmth um, or like the true warmth or authenticity, I would say, of the cookies when they are freshly brought out of the oven. That being said, this is a gourmand fragrance. But I have a little bit of a caveat with this with this candle. Um, when I picked it up in store, I thought it smelled interesting. It wasn't a fragrance that I saw myself not wanting to purchase and being like, nope, I can't do that. You guys know with my channel, I am always trying to review new fragrances for all of you guys. Um, but sometimes there are candle fragrance or there are candles or fragrances that I'm just like, I don't like that. I don't want to review it. I also didn't feel like I absolutely loved this fragrance. I was just kind of in the middle of the road for it. Um, and I thought maybe it'll transform more upon burn and I will enjoy it more. The problem is, and I mentioned this in my candle chat video last weekend, is that I like this candle when it is burning for about the first hour and a half. After about an hour and a half, two hours, this fragrance kind of smells a little sour, a little off. Um, I even mentioned in that video, and I don't mean to be crass, but there's something about this that almost smells kind of like who to me, I don't know. And I mean, I guess everybody has their own brand, I guess, when it comes to that, but there's something about this that it, it turns sour to me. That's the only way that I can describe it. And I really don't enjoy it after the hour and a half mark. So with that being said, you guys, this fragrance is not a winner for me. Um, it is a fragrance that I actually see myself decluttering after this review. I will probably just go ahead and pass it along to somebody else. Now, that being said, the packaging is nice. And in terms of the performance, it is performing well for me. Um, I'm going to try to turn this around. The, the vessel is a little bit hot right now. I have not been having any issues with the wicks. These wicks are performing quite well for me. Uh, you can see I've got a good, decent wax pool. The wicks are not sooting. They have not been uh, developing excessive carbon residue. Um, so I will give it to Bath & Body Works in terms of the wicks on these because you guys know I have documented, especially with the fall candles, I was having a very hit or miss performance with the wicks. A lot of them were dudding out on me from the first burn, which is kind of unusual with Bath & Body Works. I'm used to them dudding out usually around the halfway point, um, but not at, from like first point of the burn. But this one, I'm happy to say um, in terms of the wick performance, it's doing very, very well. I wish all of Bath & Body Works wicks would perform like this because it's like the Goldilocks. It's like just right, you know. Um, but strength and throw on this candle, I would say is anywhere between like a six and a seven. I'm going to settle on about a six. Um, I have been burning this candle predominantly in 
closed concept bedrooms, just because like I said, I don't love the fragrance enough that I really necessarily want it out in my open concept living room. Now, that being said, when I put it out in the open concept, I can smell it, but it's not a smack me in the face fragrance, which is again, okay by me. Um, but it doesn't really throw all the way into the kitchen or to the other areas of my home, which like I said, I'm okay with. If you are new to my channel, know that when um, I give a candle review, I do always put in the description box down below the layout and the environmental factors that may determine where I'm coming from with when I'm giving an assessment of how strong a candle is. You do always want to take that into account when you are watching any candle reviewer. If they give you details about their home layout, you'll always want to compare that to yours. Um, you know, I know that there's oftentimes accusations made of like, the reviewers are lying and it's like well no it's just that we all have different home layouts and different environmental factors that can determine what is already a very subjective opinion to begin with so i will say you guys this candle will not be a repurchase for me i can't even really i mean i guess i could give it a thumbs up in terms for the performance but the fragrance itself just starts to smell weird after an hour and a half. And because of that, I just can't recommend it for everybody. That being said, I think that if you like the fragrance on Cold Sniff, if you really love it um, and you really like burning this one, I think that it pairs nicely with like some tree scents. I think that that would be like a nice holiday accord. Currently, I am burning it with Homeworks' uh, Pumpkin Ginger Snap, and that's made it a little bit more tolerable. Um, I've got quite a few gourmands in my collection right now, but like I said, you guys, not a love for me, and it's going to be an easy pass going forward. So please feel free to comment down below if you have purchased this candle, what your experience has been with it. Um, I've heard a couple of other reviewers also say that they think that this one smells weird. So feel free to chime in down below. And if you love this fragrance, you just keep on burning it. Um, and tell us why you love it. It's totally fine. Please consider hitting thumbs up if you found this review helpful. Um, consider subscribing to my channel if you are new. I do lots of dedicated reviews. I also do hauls and empties and everything in between. So if you like candle content, I'd love to have you along for the ride here on my channel. I do want to say thank you so very, very much for spending your time here with me today. And until my next one, I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day. Bye.